You've already learned how to move the pieces, and we've mentioned the idea of capturing. Let's talk more about capturing. In chess, when you capture a piece, you simply move your own piece to the same square as your opponent's piece and replace their piece with your own. The captured piece is then removed from the board. You don't stop before the captured piece, you replace it entirely. Let's watch this queen capture a pawn. Now let's watch this knight jump over one of its own pieces to capture the queen. Capturing pieces is a critical part of the game. However, you do not have to capture a piece if you don't want to. That being said, if you can capture more of your opponent's pieces than they capture of yours, it's going to be much easier to win. One question about capturing that we haven't answered is, how do you notate a capture? Let's say in this position that you plan on taking the black queen with your queen on b3. A good idea. You would write the piece that will capture it, in this case, the queen. So we use a capital Q. You then write an X, which means captures. And then you write the square where the piece gets captured. So after queen takes e6, we would write q, x, e6. Here is one more capturing question. How do we notate a pawn capturing a rook and promoting to a queen at the same time? Does it sound complicated? Don't worry, it's just one extra step. We start by notating the capture. Remember, we mark a pawn with the file that it is currently on. In this case, the pawn is on the B file. So we would write a lowercase b, then we would write captures, which is an x, so lowercase b, x, and then the square that we capture, a8, so bx a8. So far, we have bx a8. Since we are promoting to a queen, you simply add to the end of your move an equal sign and then write which piece you are promoting the pawn into, which is usually the queen. So putting it all together, we would write b takes a8 equals queen. Now it's your turn to practice capturing pieces.